Welcome everybody to Conversations with One Million Meditators. My name is Tara and I'm here today with a very special guest joining us all the way from Japan, Mishiko. Welcome, thank you so much. It is such an honor to have you here today. Mishiko worked as an administrator. Thank you. Um, <laughs> She worked as the administrative personal assistant to Dr. Masaru Emoto for over 10 years. He was the founder of the Emoto Peace Project, the pioneer of Hado Vibration, researcher of water, and author of the world's bestseller, The Message from Water, for free to children all around the world. And he gave lectures to teach water memory and that our consciousness creates realities, and also teaching the very importance of love and gratitude through the messages from water to make the world a more harmonious place. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to dive into this and talk to this about this with you. I know we were speaking a little bit before we went live, how I come across this work several years ago. And I, I'm a water sign too. So, you know, I find it really, really exciting and fascinating. Um, I would love for you to share how, how did you get connected with Dr. Emoto and... Oh, thank you. Firstly, Karen, thank you so much for having me here. It's so exciting to be able to um, get to know you and share with you about this uh, beautiful story of Adokemoto's and discovery with your audience. Thank you so much. Um, and thank you so much, everyone. My name is Michiko Hayashi from Emoto Peace Project in Tokyo, Japan. Um, well, the way I got to know him was about... Um, that was 2004. Before I started working for Dr. Moto, I was a um, translator and also I was writing my own books. Um, so uh, the, at the end of my last work as a translator, I wanted to take three months off. So I took three months off. I was, started to be on my vacation. Then I wanted to read a lot of books. So I bought 10 books about uh, law about vibration. Then two books out of those, uh, they were, out of those 10 books were Dokemoto's. And I got chills when I saw his, um, his water crystals of after showing the word, you fool and thank you to water and love and gratitude to water. And then I knew that, I mean, my intuition said that this is the truth. So, that time was the encounter, the beginning of my story with Dr. Moto. I, I checked his website. Then he said that he was looking for someone who could help him with the foreign rights to his book. That was when he was so busy going around the world. And so I said, well, that's me. And that's how I... I contacted him and ever since then I was his personal assistant. So over oh. 10 years, almost 11 years until wow. he passed. Wow. Yeah. Now, I would love to take everybody, uh, for those that might be watching that have not heard of his work, a little bit, uh, a few steps back um, to how he got into it, because I really found it, um, you know, there, there's some parts of the story that's scary, like everything in life, but um, it's such a beautiful story and, and how he's come to bring this work out into the world. I was, you know, I was sharing with you, I was speaking with my son this morning and we were talking about snowflakes and because, you know, I'm here in Canada and how they freeze differently and looking at them and you know and how our words and our thoughts and our vibration are really affected through you know through this concept and he was like this is so cool mom so i would love for you to take us back because his journey began as a child um with with the water well, thank you for asking yes okay now he what he did was for people who don't know what dr moto's discovery is is that he um showed different words at the beginning words to water to show that what everything is vibration and that water absorbs that vibration and he came up with the idea of freezing those water and then take crystals from those droplets of water and so and he was successful in doing that after observing we, he we have to observe after observing those um frozen ice 
after dro drop when droplets were are frozen they make the shape of like kind of mountain shape at the tip of this uh, water droplet we can observe water crystals like this and every single um, water crystals are different but very interestingly he discovered that from the wars positive wars beautiful wars water creates beautiful hexagonal crystals like this and like this and from negative or ugly wars water cannot form beautiful crystals such as uh, i will have to show you the wars you fool and thank you like this Oops. this is from this is from thank you and this is from you fool so you can see the obvious difference of this is the difference of the vibration that each word has and he discovered that um even of course wars are powerful but our thoughts are also powerful and collectively it really affects the more uh, water molecules with our thoughts and if we are praying or we are thinking our intention is something very beautiful the water creates beautiful beautiful brilliant crystals but when we are thinking about something negative or or destructive what the, the destructive energy or vibration is so powerful that water cannot form the crystal at the molecular level this happens at the water molecule so so we know that he 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 was saying that and this is something very important for us to know because we are human beings are 70 percent water almost we are made up of water and in this air there's so much water as humidity as vapor and we are breathing in our skin is breathing and everything we say everything i'm saying right now is something that water in the air water within my myself is observing and forming the crystals accordingly and we are affecting the mother earth and environment also so that's something that dr moto discovered Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it, you know you're so true, and we you know we talk about this even with the how moon cycles affect the tides of the ocean, and you're right. You know we have all of that, the humidity and all of that surrounding us. What I found was really interesting about his story um, back from you know when he was a child and he went through that experience in the water. Um, he spoke about how you know fighting with the water you know doesn't allow you to just flow as much no. as when you allow the water to carry you and you allow mm -hmm. that resonance to create that harmony exactly. and i thought it was so beautiful because we talk about things about floating upstream and you know swimming with the current mm -hmm. versus fighting against it and even just that really speaks That's, volumes yes well yeah a lot of times now especially nowadays we a lot of often we use the word fight fight against cancer, fight against diseases, fight against coronavirus. But it's not really fighting, but living in harmony with everything, in with, with nature, because that's how, after, we're just talking about how cold it gets in winter, but there's no way we can fight against it. When we just wait until it's over, spring comes beautiful flowers starts to bloom and and all the birdies start singing everything starts to wake up and we feel much happier and brighter and it's that just the same thing when something happens we don't want to fight but respect and wait or live in harmony with that then as water goes water knows where to go where to stop where to um it, sometimes it hits the rock but it goes around 
and then water becomes when when water falls like a fall waterfall then that's when water becomes more alive and that's how they vitalize their water and then it starts to flow so when we learn from water we can live in harmony and just go in flow and that's how beautiful we can live yeah it, it, it really is so amazing and it's been fun because i know over the years i've tried these different experiments where you know you take the mason mm -hmm. jars and you fill them up with water and you even just use different vibrational sounds mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and things in the freezing so it, it's it's really interesting and it's you know it's great for kids and of course i'd love to share about this book that uh Thank dr you. emoto wrote and he has shared with children around the world mm -hmm. um it, it's very juicy so could you share a little bit with sure. Sure. about sure, that and, and how children can access this book. Sure. Okay. So, Firstly, mm -hmm. I would like to show this. I am, well, Dr. Emoto recommended doing this uh, rice experiment. What It's really simple and really um, they can learn from this experiment. What they can do is mothers or fathers or adults can rice, um, cook the rice. Or if you don't want to cook, that's fine. Put the rice in the in a jar and put some water in it and prepare two of them and on one jar you can write any positive words like i love you or you're beautiful anything and on the on the other jar you put an ugly negative words or something like i hate you or something something negative then every day you can say the the word accordingly and leave it for one month, you will see the result. And if children see that, they will not want to use negative, ugly words because that's going to happen to themselves, our, ourselves. And in this book, it talks about how, at the beginning it says how we are 70% water. And then after that, it says, the mother earth is almost 70% water as well. And we are so much alike. And it shows how water creates beautiful, beautiful crystals. We want to, we want everyone to take care of beautiful water in nature. So it shows how beautiful water in nature is, the natural water is. And it talks about river how up, upstream river is so pretty, um, middle, midstream it goes a little ugly, but the, um, at the downstream it goes like this. So we want to take care of water, natural water, and it shows how music affects water. It's a powerful vibration. And beautiful crystals, uh, beautiful music, like such as Chris, uh, classical music, makes beautiful crystals but um ugly one like destructive heavy metal makes this ugly water and talks about um wars and that people can come if they want we have this book translated into 34 languages so they can come to the website www.emotopeaceproject.net or they can email me at EPP, short for Emoto Peace Project. Emoto is spelled E-M-O-T-O, peaceproject.net. They can email me or they can come to the website. Um, you can download the digital data, PDF data of this um, children's book for free of charge. And if you want a real copy of this book, I am happy to send it to you. And we're asking for donation for the real book book for $5 donation per one book. But this is available for everyone. Thank you so much. That's so exciting. And we will Thank absolutely you. post the links below afterwards mm -hmm. so that you can find where to go and okay. grab a copy mm -hmm. of that book. And of course, donate to this beautiful project oh, and, and Dr. Emoto's work. When it's, it's so beautiful because, you know, even water, um, it gets spoken about, you know, we were with children and crying mm -hmm. and 
tears or, you know, cleansing. Water really is such a cleansing thing that sometimes can be seen as, you know, scary to a young child in the pool or an ocean and stuff that mm -hmm. can be very intimidating. But I really love how he, um, with, with his work, and I know some of the, you know, go to YouTube, you can find some very interesting videos on, on this work, um, but how he really ties in just that vibration and that mm -hmm. energy and in, you know, just kind of when we sit and we think about it, how soothing and calming and cleansing and powerful water can be. And I'm sure we all remember those experiments too, when we were kids, as you were saying, with music and vibration and and and, and, and playing around with that and seeing the, you know, just physically seeing what it actually mm -hmm. does. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was so very important that Dr. Moto said something very important because he said water flows and water is for everyone just like air and it's not only for people who have money but it's for all beings including uh, all bacterias um insects and and birdies and everything for and also of course for human but we these years we have been buying can have you realized how big corporations are selling water actually it's not for sale it's not to sell but to share with everyone take care of water because if we don't take care of water without water nothing can stay alive water is life and it flows because it's for everyone and for everything, there is water. Even in our DNA, there is a um, water pole in the center because water has memory and it delivers that information to everyone, everywhere beyond time and space. It's really amazing. And so this is, it, when we learn about water, we really don't want to fight or or uh, use the destructive or negative feelings or say anything negative to, to others, to yourself, because that's how you are creating your reality. In meditation or, or collectively, like there are almost 8 billion people, close to 8 billion people on earth now. And just imagine this, um, this, since last year, because of this pandemic, people were so worried and scared about this. I mean, all around the world. But actually, it's um, I, if I can show you the words, um, the pictures we did in our laboratory, we still take water crystals. Uh, we have the institute or laboratory, and we had to do this experiment to see what water is showing. And this is from COVID-19. This originally, when it was born, we don't, water is showing it's not, it was not really anything negative. So I don't, we don't know if it was artificially made or man-made uh, man or originally made. We don't know, but it doesn't matter. At the beginning, it was nothing really bad. But what makes it bad is adding the word COVID-19 and fear. So our emo negative emotions are the ones that is really affecting everything. Mm -hmm. But if we change our, our mind from fear, our th f emotions from fear or, or anger or those negative feelings to oops, love and gratitude, taking that fear out of that COVID-19 and and fear and replace fear with love and gratitude. It changes to this brilliant, beautiful crystal. So that shows our emotions, our thoughts are the ones that are really affecting everything, creating the reality. Yeah. So when, you know, and as we speak, sound travels through water, you know, so much mm -hmm. faster resonance wise than, 
than you know this way so that it, it's it's so true it's it's you know even when you speak about the music and the vibration of music and that energy walking into a room hearing a, a very eerie song versus a very uplifting and positive song instantly we feel that vibration and um you know just coming back to what you were talking about with water and that resistance and that fight you know if you are stuck in a situation where you're in water and it may seem scary mm -hmm. when you can come to that place of calmness and harmony and you work with the water mm -hmm. and you be, you know you become calm and allow yourself to maybe float or whatever it is with the stream there is such a harmony that can be created there and there's such a it's almost a beautiful safety thing like you say right. you know it gives us that life and um so important what you're speaking about about keeping our water clean and safe mm -hmm. and um you know i know here in north america America, we have stuff too where there's fluoride in the water and things mm. like that where it's contaminating what's right. meant to be natural to us um, and I'm not sure what that's like in your part of the world we live in different parts but um, you know a yeah. lot of those things affect the vibration of water exactly. as well so by the time water comes to our homes so and tap water in the form of tap water they are almost dead it's not alive anymore because of the going through the pipes of uh, 90 degrees going through like that, or also because of the chemicals that they put inside. So right now we have to, we have to be able to uh, reach the na beautiful natural water. So maybe we have to buy it. I don't know the way we, the way I, I make my own water is of course, because I'm living in Tokyo in big city. So I use this natural water filter and add some beautiful min liquid minerals because minerals are really important, but get rid of all these chemicals. So until we bring back this beautiful mother earth, we have to put, uh, we have to do the, live in a way we can health in a healthy manner. But what we really need to do is with our, using our consciousness also in a different modalities different ways we have to bring back this earth a healthy and harmonious place and because we humans are the ones who made it up to this stage and it's our responsibility right now to bring it back to make it healthy once again for our children and children's children, for all the beings. Mm -hmm. So um, let's just send out what we can do. It's really easy from our end. We can always say thank you and I love you to water when, whenever we use it, when, whenever we take a shower, whenever we wash our hands or cook, do deal with water or also when we drink, I'm drinking coffee right now because it's early in the morning, but this is liquid too. So whenever you drink water or liquid, just say thank you, I love you, or you, you're you beautiful. When you have any physical problem, you just say that, thank you for making bringing me back to a healthy state. I am healthy, thank you so much water. Then, Water will help you within yourself. That's how we can use water because water is very sacred. Water has can heal people because this is how Dr. Moto helped with um, more than 10,000 people before he started to go into water research. He was a doctor of alternative medicine before his, the research on water and he healed or, or I should say um, helped with more than 10,000 people with vibrational machine called MRA and water. So at that time, he knew that everything was vibration and that water was, um, was had a memory or stored the information and carried that information. And information is energy. Yeah. So, 
Yeah, oh, so beautiful. And and you know, you you touched on this briefly earlier, and I want to ask you about this here because you know, at one million meditators, we believe in the power of collective meditation, how powerful it is. And I myself have experienced some very beautiful sound water, you know, water meditations and things mm -hmm. like that that are just so lovely. What's your experience on um the collective meditation with vibration and water and what it does? globally mm. for humanity oh my gosh it uh, it's such an important thing that we all get together because dr moto have has done so many experiments with meditations or prayers collective prayers and once he did five thousand people's prayer the together with five thousand people sending love and gratitude and that really created such beautiful crystals. So he always said, and, and the beginning was, I think it was, um, the beginning was when his mentor was giving prayers to, to water, to, to the um, Buddhist monk also. We use water in, a, in Japan. And before we go to the shrine, we clean, cleanse ourselves with uh, water. And we use water to, to um, I don't know how to say it, but to get rid of the, the uh, negative, en negative um, uh, energies around us. So we, he started to see how water makes the forms crystals before and after the prayer or meditation also. Collectively, it amplifies the energy. So now we know that meditations, you say, one million meditators or together meditating all the time from different places around the world. It's one person's energy is powerful. But when we all get together, the collectively, it really becomes so powerful that we can heal the water. We can heal the 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 mother earth rapidly and that's how that's something that we want to always remember so send out beautiful energy from you from from everywhere the mother earth receives that energy mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that so much. And it, it is, it's so true. It's just that amplification that happens when we all have that collective intention and we, we tap into to that to that vibration uh -huh. it, it, you know it is really such a beautiful thing and i don't want to get into religions and things but metaphorically yeah. you know there's a lot of traditions where there, there was blessings with water mm -hmm. and you know even floats nowadays have mm -hmm. become more popular here in north america i'm sure you guys have experienced this more in japan but mm -hmm. you know just the beauty of being able to lay in water and that stillness and that meditative state that you can really get into you know as kids we used to just float yeah. <laughs> we'd go to the lake and just yeah. float right i mean gosh <laughs> when we are in the womb of the mother we're just floating in there you know mm -hmm. so we just love being in water actually originally yeah. and yeah. a lot of times we forget but when we just let it go float on the water we start to remember how beautiful it was Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, even as you touch on too, the the animals and the plants and stuff, when you look at the ocean and the life and how, you know, fish will swim together and how they'll move and flow just so collect, you know, I'll watch those videos and it's just beautiful how they communicate and flow and move through through water like that. It's just, it's such a beautiful thing. Isn't that beautiful? It's, mm -hmm. there's so much that human beings cannot see with our eyes so much that we cannot hear with our own ears we are so limited to see and feel but actually we are what we are seeing perceiving with our eyes and ears is really so small like only like three percent maybe five percent of what exists 95 97 eight percent is something that we are not being able to see but other animals such as like whale can hear her child trying to talk to her mother from the other side of the ocean and mother can still hear it they communicate 
So that's really, isn't that amazing? And human beings have that, I mean, possibility or ability to do that. If, mm -hmm. and we, I think we used to uh, communicate with a telepathy and we, we, we forgot about that. But now we can start to remember that we can, I can feel you, what you're fe thinking or what you're feeling right now. And if we tune into that, we can feel. And that's how powerful, how strong our mind is, our telepathy, our ability, possibility is, or our energy is. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, so beautiful. It's just, I, I get chills when you speak about that. Um, <laughs> so one of the things that we do do here at One Million Meditators each week is send out a love share. And of course, this week, I would love to send that love share out to you, the Emoto Peace Project and, and, and Dr. Uh, Masaru Emoto's work and what he has done um, for the children and, and heal, you know, helping others with his with his work. It is just absolutely amazing. So that is my love share. Please, please, you go ahead if there's a love share that you would like to do. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, we, I would like to just mention one thing. Um, uh, the Fukushima disaster happened on the 11th of March, exactly 10 years ago. So I would like everyone to send beautiful prayer of love and gratitude to where it happened in Fukushima. Also, it just happened in New Zealand. The Mother Earth is still kind of shaky. So let's send beautiful love and gratitude to our Mother Earth because this, this is our home where we live. And we want our mother, uh, motherland to be very, uh, we want it to be very happy, healthy, so that we can live happily and healthy. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I absolutely love that. And I feel like this kind of leads into that, um, the question, if I was to give you a magic wand sure. and you could wave oh, it, what would magic you wand. Love? Yeah, well, I would be just touching everyone, waking everyone to say, you know, we're here, we were born to be here to be, to be loving, to, to be, we are really love, we are light, and we are peace, actually. And I would like everyone to know that when we, as you meditate, probably you feel that you are really the being of energy. You are not actually, we are here with the physical body, but we, our soul goes everywhere. So let's keep the beautiful soul of love and gratitude and remember that we are love and we are light and we are peace. And thank you so much. Oh, it's such a beautiful message, but and you know, it just ties in perfectly because to me, there's nothing more beautiful than hopping in the water and floating out in nature. Oh, I love water too. It is, it's, it's such a beautiful experience. And I know myself, I am so drawn to, you know, if I have an opportunity to get away, even if it's just by a little stream, it mm -hmm. makes such, it's just, it's just so, um, calming and grounding and you you just feel that connection you know yeah. it's, not, I mean, of course, it's not like being in the ocean but <laughs> it's just you really feel that connection and that mm -hmm. and that vibration um and the harmony it, you know yeah. I've, I've never been around water and not felt harmonious you know even yeah. when there's a storm the storm always passes and everything mm -hmm. comes back into and flow cleanses everything too storm you know, always cleanses everything and then after the storm it's just beautiful outside isn't that mm -hmm. so yeah, yeah. water yeah. is really healing and, and everything yeah. we need yeah so. It's so beautiful. And just for everybody that might be more curious about the Emoto Peace Project, um, is there anything that anybody can do to help or uh, to share the word? I know you guys offer the lovely uh, book available, which is so fabulous. Mm -hmm. um, but is there anything that we can do as a collective back to help out uh, with this work and sharing? Well, thank you so much. We also have, um, I'm part of, a, we are in the same office with, a, with the company that Dr. Emoto established 30 years ago and his son is the president now 
and I am in charge of the Emerald Peace Project, but actually we're in the same company or office. And this, uh, it's a mother company is called IHM. IHM is uh, selling the, or doing the Hado instructor school. Hado means vibration that Dr. Emoto, it's um, Dr. Emoto's teachings and we are evolving that and we have the machine to heal or to, to help with everyone's problems. And also we do have some other um, um, products and, and programs, schools also. So if you would like to uh, visit our website, we have that information too. So we can all get together and create the beautiful and harmonious society. To do that, we start from us within because we cannot change other people. The only person that you can change is yourself, myself. And if each I changes, the world will change instantaneously like this. So beautiful. And, and I encourage you the next time you're doing a meditation, meditate near water and really be mindful of your thoughts that you're putting exactly. out and that attention when you're by it, because we can use this as a very powerful tool to elevate the consciousness collectively uh, in such a beautiful way. So yeah. thank you for sharing that. Thank you so much, Tara. Yes. And thank you so much for your time, for the work that you do. And again, uh -huh. We will post the links for where you can find out more information about the Emoto Peace Project below. Um, it has been so exciting having you here today. I could just go on and ask you questions and questions <laughs> and questions. Um, and anybody watching, um, thank you so much for joining us. I'll say a quick shout out to Carlos and Robert. Um, the Erica, Eric, I see a few more on here. Thank you guys for joining. If you are catching the replay, hashtag replay, let us know that you're oh, here, where you're from. And if you do catch this on the podcast, please leave us a review. We would love to bring more to you and that always helps us out. So thank you. Uh, thank thank you. you. It has been such an honor, Mishko. Oh, um, thank you so much. I mean, it's been wonderful being able to talk about uh, Emoto Peace Project's work, Dr. Emoto's discovery, and thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to be with you and with everyone. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. We will see you all again next week. Please love this and share it out and spread the word on how we can use water to uh, collectively elevate humanity. So yes. thank you. Thank Have you so much. The most amazing day. Bye, everyone. We'll see you next week. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Mm -hmm.